Well, it's a beautiful spring day here in Michigan with a few awesome snow flurries. Ready to go get some pretty mulch. All right, this is SSL Family Dad with Simple Suburban Living. And today we're out here at our local kind of uh, city park or municipal park here um, where they have a giant pile of free mulch. Um, several of the cities in our area do the same type of thing. Uh, all of the wood chips and shavings and things like that that they you know take care of maintenance around the city and cutting trees and things like that in the spring and fall and throughout the summer. They shred all that stuff up and then they dump it out here in the park for people to come and take as they please. As you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of it here. There's all different types and all different ages. There's some lighter type uh, chips here that are really nice. They look a little bit nicer for you know landscaping and, and flower beds and around trees and stuff like that. And then there's some older stuff. This is mostly from last year. Um, as you dig in here as well, uh, I've got a shovel and a pitchfork because just depending on what will work better. Uh, but if you really want to get some, some composted uh, um, wood chips or whatever here, uh, if you dig into these hills or if you go in, there's some older piles around here also. It's it's all composted down and it's great for gardens and uh, to mix it with your soil. So. You know, there was a city park near us here at a different place that we used to go to. And last year I saw a big dump truck was... You know, I pulled up to get some mulch and they had a big dump truck there. They were loading it all up. And I asked the guy from the city was out there and I said, Oh, what are they doing with all this stuff? Somebody taking it to their farm or something, you know? And he said, uh, no, they're... Nobody's coming to get it and it's... The pile's getting too big out here and... It's making a mess, so... We, uh, are having somebody haul it all away. I just thought <laughs> it's all the same people that are going out to the store and buying bags of mulch. I I did it, you know. And yeah, there's, you know, this is not quite as nice as the stuff you might get in the bag, and they don't dye it different colors or whatever. But gosh, who knows what they're using to dye it that we're putting in our ground? But this is this is nice mulch, you know. So we got to use this stuff. Or else they stop doing it. Programs like this that somebody started thought it was a great idea and then nobody nobody goes and gets it. So I'll be getting a couple truckloads this year. that I've been using for a few years now. Just using cardboard as kind of a base. And it uh, works really good. Um, I'll show you what it looks like after about a year. But it keeps the weeds out for sure. It's a lot better than landscape fabric and things. And it's 
another one of those free resources we have. I save up cardboard throughout the winter time and uh, Christmas time and that kind of thing, and this is where it ends up. So um, the only thing, and I've said this in other videos, but uh, you just kind of have to keep the mulch away from the base of the trunk of the tree. You don't want that to to get. Uh, you don't want the moisture kind of sitting right up against the trunk. And using the cardboard works good because it kind of directs, you cut that circle out around the, the trunk there and it kind of directs more of the water right to the to the roots and that soft soil that you just dug up right around the hole. And then over time as that cardboard biodegrades, you know, it'll let more of the water get to uh, other parts of the, the roots there. But it also keeps the soil nice and moist holds that moisture in so the trees seem to love it here's our uh, larger cherry tree we've had for a couple years now and this is um, we've done this uh, several years actually with this with this bedding or this mulch and this is from the same area the same place in that park city park um, but it looks really nice you know as uh, as it kind of gets sun bleached it turns a little bit lighter colored and um, you know, kind of gets weathered and I think it looks really good out here around these trees. So um, usually I'll just come around in the springtime and throughout the summer and just kind of make sure we're not getting getting it too packed in around the trunk here. Uh, you don't want that wood to rot. You know, if you, if you keep stacking up mulch around the trunk of the tree, it'll, it can cause damage to it. So it uh, works really well. All right, so I've got a lot more work to do. I've got a lot more of this stuff to unload, obviously, as you can see here and spread out around our our new trees and uh, some flowering uh, uh, flower gardens and, and landscaping areas around the house. We're also going to be creating kind of an orchard area in the back and we're probably going to get another load of this here as well to, to landscape all of that and um, get rid of the grass. Uh, the less grass I have to cut the better. So, um, But uh, this is just another great source of uh, you know free uh, gardening materials. Um, I'm going to do a few other videos on sourcing free or very inexpensive gardening materials as well. You know, gardening and, and uh, landscaping and, and orchards and all that kind of stuff, it doesn't have to be super expensive. So um, there are lots of places to find in your local communities, find, you know, areas where you can get free compost or very cheap compost, mulch like this and all kinds of other things. So uh, this is just one of those things that uh, I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I've mentioned it in other videos, but I haven't really showed you the exact process that we use to get it. So hopefully this, uh, you know, somebody finds this helpful and, you know, check your city. You can call your city, I'm sure, and ask if they have somewhere that they dump this kind of stuff. Um, you know, they may even, you know, be able to bring it over and, and dump it at your yard for you. I don't know. It just depends on how bad they want to get rid of it, I guess. So, uh, but this kind of stuff is, is all over and I hate to see this stuff go to waste. Um, it's such great material. I mean, this this might not be as pretty as the stuff you buy in the bags. Um, you know, there are some larger sticks and stuff like that in it, but I really like this stuff. I think it looks nice and, um, you know, gosh, we used to spend, every year we'd spend a hundred bucks or more on bags of mulch. Uh, you know, it just, it's silly when there's places like this. So uh, hopefully uh, you found this informational. Please hit thumbs up on the video. I always appreciate it. You can subscribe to our channels to follow along. We've got all kinds of different sustainable and, and uh, um, gardening and aquaponics and chickens and all kinds of good stuff that we, uh, we have going on around here. Um, if you have anything to add or have any questions, please throw those down below. I always appreciate those. You can always follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. We've got all kinds of different content we throw out on all those different venues as well. So please check those out. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.